everyone, welcome to CFC Fan TV. It's Sunday. Yay, you've got me. <laughs> I'm sure you just want to see me all the time. Um, yeah, you know, listen, I'm, I'm struggling with today's video because if I'm being honest, all these, all these you know, weeknight games are really messing up the schedule. Um, not only that, I'm sure they're very annoying for all you fans to get to, um, and quite a lot of fans can't really make these weekday games, but Nevertheless, um, I'm still really excited for it. And if you haven't seen my sort of preview um, yesterday, go check it out. Um, it's up. It's up now. But anyway, yeah, this video, I thought, you know what? Why don't you get to know me a little bit more? It's all about Sophie, apparently. Not, not that some of you are pleased about that. But yeah, so I asked you all to tweet in your questions, football related, non-football related, um, anything you want to know about me or, you know, my thoughts on Chelsea throughout the years. Um, so yeah, let's get going. I'm really, really excited to read through some of them. Right, so uh, let's get going. Um, I'm already laughing looking at them, but I absolutely love all these questions. So thanks so much to everybody who tweeted in. I'm going to try and go through as many as possible. Um, okay, Mike Wrangle says, hello, Mike, says, um, Spurs, Man U or Arsenal, if you had to relegate one, support one and erase, re erase the existence of one? Very, very good question. Um, it's quite obvious, guys, you know I'm, I'm a blue through and through. That's, that's, let's just put that out there straight away. Um, but if you're asking me the question, um, erase the existence would obviously be Spurs. I don't really feel like they exist anyway. Um, it's just like a name that's just floating there, isn't it? They're just trophyless. Um, <laughs> I'd probably relegate Man United. Um, I don't actually... Uh, do I hate Man U? No, I'm not a fan of them. I think they're quite a respectable club in the fact that, you know, in, with all their history... Um, I, w I would say that, but I have no ties to them whatsoever. I, d I don't even think about them on a daily basis. So <laughs> that wouldn't be it. And if I had to support one, if it, if it has to be between the three, it would probably be Arsenal because my granddad was Arsenal. Um, so I easily could have been an Arsenal fan. Um, having been up to the ground, you know, I've, like I say, Chelsea fan from, from birth, but um, I feel the essence of my granddad when, when, I'm at, when I'm at an Arsenal game because I know that, that you know, that was his, his childhood team. Um, but unfortunately, they, they just start for me. I've got no red in me whatsoever, you know, I'm a true blue. But yeah, if, you, if I had to pick between the three, that would be them, Mike. Ronnie Harwell says blue, Blur or Oasis. Who, I don't actually know what Blur is. i um, so sorry if I offended anyone, but so I'd have to go with Oasis, I think, because I, I did quite like a few of their songs. Um, Blake Edwards says, can I be a bridesmaid at yours and Troops AFC wedding? Hello, Troops, if you're watching this. Um, listen, darling, Blake. Me and Troops aren't going to be getting married anytime soon. I hate to disappoint you. You know, you never know what can happen in 200 years time, but we are just very good friends and we enjoy bringing you lots of football content. So, um, we, yeah, we're going to be doing some videos soon. Um, a quick little quiz show for you. So I hope you all enjoy that. So stay tuned for those that will be coming to you probably next week or the week after. Um, we're just sort of finalizing the, the last bits of the videos. Elite under, underscore specs 11. Um, hello, I wish I knew your real name, but I will call you Elite for now. Um, hi, an Arsenal fan here. Who do you think will finish top four in the Premier League? Unbiased opinion, please. A PS, love the video, so and keep up the great work. Thank you so much, I love that. Um, who do I think will finish top four? Very difficult um, question, I suppose. One team's gonna have to miss out. I think Man City will win, obviously. Um, Man City, I suppose it's gonna be Man City, Chelsea, Man U and Spurs. Um, yeah, I would, I would say that's going to be the top four. Don't think Arsenal will creep in it. I really don't. If they do, then, then that's great for them. But I, that's, they're the top four that I'm going for at the moment. Next one, uh, Greggles. Hello, Greggles. Great name. Um, if Conte leaves, who do you think should replace him? V very difficult question, actually, Greggles there. Um, or Greggly. Um... I don't want him to leave, if I'm being honest. I know there are lots of rumours, and like I say in my last video, I think we should sort of just, you know, stop thinking about that for the time being. Um, but if I'm being honest, like I, I'm looking for all the managers, I know there's talks of this Allegri person, but I honestly don't know anything about these managers. Like I really wouldn't be able to give you a fair, um, a fair opinion on that because I just don't know enough and I probably need to do my research before I would think about it because you know we go through so many managers we're gonna run out <laughs> if I'm being honest you know um okay super Fra super Frankie Lampard uh, your favorite Chelsea hello uh, your favorite Chelsea player of all time and favorite moment at the bridge very good question I love this okay so favorite moment at the bridge I will start with first now it might surprise a lot of you this one um it will be our 4-1 win over Napoli uh, the year we won the Champions League Reason being, um, I've been, I've, I've, honestly, I'm, I'm there every week, I've been so many games, but this one in particular, I think, I was sat in the shed lower right behind the goal, 
and I really just thought that was it. And the fight I saw in the team to just get back into that game was like second to none, really. And I've never screamed so loudly. Like it was just such a, a wonderful surprise to see us play that sort of football with the team we had, and you know, with our manager being fired, and all, you know, all this sort of everything sort of circulating. And that was sort of the game I remember, which was like the turning point, and where we then went on to win the Champions League for me. So that game was really, really special. Um, and favorite player. Oh, very good question again. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's really tough. I've, I've had so many favorite players over the years. Um, I loved Raul Morelles when he was there. I remember, we, I can't remember who we were playing now. I'd have to look up mine, but we scored one goal where he ran from one end of the pitch to the other and just booted it in the goal and then went and did his like little like celebration like that. And I just thought it was a fantastic goal. Um, there's Gianfranco Zola, there's Viali, Andre Flo. I'm, I'm trying to remember when I was younger, my dad was getting me into football, you know, trying desperately to get me into Chelsea. And um, these are the sort of players that I remember watching. Obviously, JT, I have a lot of love for Dave, um, Ivanovic. Oh God, I've probably, and Michael, do you know what? Michael Essien's a very good candidate. Um, oh God, this is so hard. Michael Essien scored one of my favorite goals of all time, the one against Barcelona. Um, but I will go with Frank Lampard. Purely because I saw, I saw him in my gym once and I was too scared to say hello. So I was, he probably thought I was being a bit mean, but I was too too nervous to say hello or anything. Um, yeah, I'll say Frank because I just think all round he's, you know, he's Chelsea through and through. I love what he did for the club. I think he was a fantastic leader. Um, I think he stabilised um, the whole team and I think there will just never be anybody else like him if I'm being honest um, if there if there is to be anybody that compares to him it'll be in years and years time so definitely super frank okay next question um, Michael Pavey uh, I think he's a little bit of a hater here so let's go with this one he says uh, why are you the face of CFC TV what gives you the knowledge and experience to comment on my club um, I'd say it's our club first of all all of our club um, but yes yeah, you see a bit of a hater here so I'll take you through it um, if I'm being honest i I did a three-year course at university, performing arts, which is, you know, theatre, acting, presenting, all those sorts of things. Um, and I was actually originally meant to go to London Metropolitan University, which is more, more or less Holloway Road, which is right next to the Arsenal ground. Um, but the government cut my course at the last minute. So the only university that would take me on at like two, three weeks notice was Roehampton, which is the one closest to Stamford Bridge. So when I got the go ahead for that, I thought, right, I really want to work near the ground. You know, I, I want to, um, like just be near the be near our football club and just see if I can get more into the football because I'm originally from Devon so it was a whole new world to me so I printed out about 20 30 CVs and handed them in bars all around Fulham and Earls Court and the only bar that actually took me on and that um thought I would be worth trialing as a waitress was the Kona Kai pub which is directly opposite the uh, main entrance to South Bridge so he gave me a job there and then um, the deal was basically, you know, that I'd work, we do like 13 hour shifts, but uh, so, so from day to night, but we'd have that two hour gap in the football because they were open after the football, before the football, um, where my boss would let me go to the games and then come back and work. So we had quite a little bit of a, we had like a good relationship there. And as long as I worked hard for him, he was willing to let me go to the game and come back. So fans sort of knew that I basically was more or less at every game. That's what I spent my pocket money on, you know, back in back in the day. So I used to go to all the games. And then um, one day they, you know, I got the call from um, Rory and who he was working with at the time. And they said they wanted a girl that goes to football um, to do, you know, the fan camps, to do, do, to do a little bit on the channel. Um, they said they wanted, you know, to know that I was going to the, go, I actually was a proper fan. I went to the games and I'm being honest, was, if, if I wasn't, you know, being a legit fan, if I wasn't being an authentic fan, it was an extremely expensive way to try and, you know, do anything else other than, you know, just support my team. So that was how that came about. Um, and then, yeah, and then obviously the old channel um, was was not going to be running anymore. So I thought, right, what do I do? Do I, um, do I, you know, stay and earn good money with, you know, and do and sort of work on a channel that isn't going to be what it was before? Or do I, you know, not accept the money and start my own thing? Um, and me and Rory decided to start our own thing. So that's how we're here now. So we do work really hard on it and we're trying to bring you as much good content as possible. Um, and we're getting there, you know, we're, we're, we're a year in now, but I'd say probably, you know, good seven, eight months since people have started, you know, watching all our stuff and we really, really appreciate it. So yeah, it's been a very long road and it was definitely not easy. And I think people think I come across in a very different way sometimes, but you know, listen, I've gone to Chelsea since I was a kid. Um, and even more so, so that when I moved to the ground, that was always my aim, sort of getting to football to support my team. And that's what I've been doing ever since. So I hope that answers your question there. Um, 
Jake at Jake Just Me says, Snog, marry, avoid out of troops, Claude and Robbie. I don't even think I can answer this one, you know? Um, I'm gonna have to avoid troops because he's got misses. I think they all have actually, to be fair. Um, you know, I can't answer that one, darling. I love them all dearly as friends. Um, and that would just have to be <laughs> that one. Um, right, next question. Uh, let's have a look. Um, how did you get into fan TV, says Perry. I just answered the question, I think, darling, so hopefully that covers it. But, um, you know, the main thing with that, like I say, is that they wanted somebody who actually went to the games, you know. They're not just looking for a girl on the channel to you go on TV, you know. They want somebody who actually, you know, is is into football and I am you know am I, am I as knowledgeable as Rory and Charlie of course not you know um they're slightly older than me and they've 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 you know they're guys they really do have more of a uh they, they have just they just have more knowledge than me but it doesn't mean that my love for the club is only less you know I still go to all the games I still try to be as involved as possible and I think I've got more knowledgeable as as the games have gone on you know Elvis Benedict says um and I'm an Arsenal fan following your pretty self but what do you think Olivier Giroud will bring to Chelsea and how do you hope for him to link up with Hazard and co-judging by his ability? Hashtag pretty Sophie. <laughs> Elvis, I love that hashtag. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not as confident about Olivier Giroud as everybody else is. I think he's a good signing. I don't think he's a great signing. I think if he was coming into a team where Morata and Batshuayi was were on really good form, I'd be you know all for it. But the fact of the matter is that at the moment he really is our only viable option. And to not have played one game for us, and we're going into games against Barcelona, Man United, I am a little bit worried. That's why I said in my preview that I wanted him to start on Monday to see what he can do. And maybe he will be a different player. I do think he's more suited to Chelsea than he is Arsenal, but he has to prove himself. And he just has to hit, he just has to hit the ground running. That's all I can say there. And then I think I'll be able to give you. Um, a good a good analysis on him once I've seen him play after the next sort of, I give it about six, seven weeks. Pineapple or pizza? <laughs> Pineapple on pizza or Simon Mignolet as Chelsea goalkeeper? We're gonna have to go with pineapple on pizza here. And I don't like pineapple and I especially don't like it on pizza. So um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a watermelon lady. Uh, pineapple is not good, especially not on pizza. So considering I'm on a dark bread diet as well, um, yeah, and definitely not him and Gull. No offence, darling, but yeah, you, you really can't. Um. Anyway, Peter Friend says, what is the best Chelsea team you've seen in your lifetime? And follow up, what is the best game you've ever seen? Oh, good question, you know. Um, do you know what? I don't think I've seen a best team. I think I've seen, I, I, overall, I think I've seen best teams for that sort of time era, if you get what I mean. So there was, you know, the Joan Franco Zola era. Then was, you know, our whole team with JT. When he came into it, now he's left. We're seeing a completely different team. It's just, it's very hard to sort of, you know, tell. Um, best game I've ever seen, on the other hand, um, like I said, my favourite was Napoli, and there's been so many good games, but one of the most interesting games I've ever seen, one of the most confusing games I've ever seen, was the 4-4 draw against Liverpool in the Champions League years and years ago. I don't know if you guys remember it, but me and my dad never, we were all sat in the crowd, and there were so many, there were eight goals in that game, and it was, and it was you know, a knockout game, so we were all a bit like, what the, like, everyone got very confused, because it was on an aggregate. And nobody could really work out what's going on, but it was just end to end football. It was just manic. And one minute you think you're in it, and the next <laughs> the goal's gone in at the other end, and there were just so many goals that nobody really knew what was going on. It was just an absolutely mental game. So that 4 4 against Liverpool was one that I'll always, always remember. And I didn't live in London at the time, so I just remember coming up, and it was just a, it was a fantastic day out, and nevertheless, obviously, we went through. But, but God, that was, that was a mental and very nerve wracking game. So that's one that I'll definitely remember. Um, Tom Swindle, realistically, do you think we'll ever be crowned champions of Europe again anytime soon? Um, you never know in the Champions League, though. I mean, I, I would say, had we not won it in 2012, because I really did feel like, even in the final, when you know, we missed a penalty, and then by, before Drogba's goal went in, they scored, you know, a, a goal before, you know, in the last what, 10 minutes, and I was thinking, if we don't win this now, I don't know when we're going to win it, and we did. So you just don't really know what's going to happen in those sorts of games, so... Realistically, at the moment, I think we've got probably far too many problems to win it. I don't think we deserve to win it at this time, if I'm being honest. I think it's something that you need to earn collectively as a team, and I think the team all round need to be really solid. Um, I don't think, at the moment, we have a proper leader in the team. Therefore, I think it's very difficult. It would be very difficult for us to win that sort of competition. Nevertheless, you do never know what's going to happen. So, for me, I would think it's a few years off. But 100% there is another a European trophy coming to London. Um, it's just a case of when. The minute we can stabilise things, you know, I think the minute JT left, everything sort of went... We're, we're, it, it, he's the last sort of 
you know, remaining leader at the club, if I'm being honest. You know, we've got Gary, he is our captain, but there'll never be any anything like JT and Frank to me until we, you know, have somebody like Christensen, if I'm being honest, probably be the next sort of candidate for me to sort of take on that role. At the minute, he, you know, provides stability, but he's still very young, and I think that will come as time goes on. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. In my eyes, no, I think it's a few years away, but like I say, you just don't know what can happen in this competition. Ryan, um, if you were a footballer, where on the pitch would you play? Brilliant question. When I was younger, I used to play central midfield. Um, I used to prefer being a striker, I used to hate being a defender. Um, and I was fantastic in training, and the minute it got to being on the pitch, I literally couldn't kick the ball. So I think I'll be staying away from it um, in terms of, well, for the next, for the next, for the, for the, for the foreseeable future anyway. How many times do you gym a week? Since I'm a model, I don't consider myself a model, I just do the odd photo shoot every now and again. Um, but yeah, try, I try and gym three and four times a week. But not because I'm any sort of, I'm not really not one of those people to do post loads of stuff on the gym, you know, those gym selfies. I really am not that person. I just do it to keep healthy and um, yeah, just just nice. It's very very good stress reliever. That's why I go. Keeps me, keeps my mind off of things if I'm stressed. And yeah, it's just a, it's a good, healthy lifestyle. Um, and then uh, Jay, which is at John underscore 4509, says, current show you're binge, binge watching. Homeland. Um, I've watched it a thousand times over. I think the new series out in Fe well mid February actually. Um, but yeah, it's my favourite show. I think it's fantastic. I think they've got fantastic actors. I think it shows light on everything that's happening in the world. Guys, thank you so much for all your questions. Um, you know, I hope I answered as many of them as possible. It's been lovely. If you like this sort of video, uh, please let me know in future. And please, if you do like it, uh, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. There should be like a little icon there now where you can where you can subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow evening. I'm really excited about this one. Hopefully, we're talking about another three points because we just, we have to get back to winning ways. We just we have to, guys. Anyway, I hope you've all had a lovely weekend, and I'll see you all tomorrow.